Aston Villa Football Club are on the hunt for their fifth manager in a year after they sacked Roberto Di Matteo. The club says recent results have been disappointing. Our reporter James Clark has the latest from Villa Park. Well, yes, it was just four years ago that Roberto Di Matteo was lifting the Champions League trophy with Chelsea. But this morning he was sacked by Aston Villa, a club that he's only been at since June. He managed 12 games in total, but only got one victory. Results that have ultimately cost him his job. We know that it's going to be difficult. Uh, it's going to be a, a job where we have to turn things around. After only four months in the job, Roberto Di Matteo's time at Aston Villa is up. Just one league win all season has left them 19th in the table and a club desperate to get back into the Premier League have found themselves struggling in the Championship. In Di Matteo's first news conference in June, he said it would take time to rebuild Aston Villa, but things clearly weren't moving fast enough for the new owner. It's going to take, you know, it's going to take a bit of time uh, to, to sort the, the team out and uh, and as you know, in football, it's a process. Uh, we also know that we won't result yesterday rather than tomorrow. So, um, you know, that's my job, and I will I will do everything that I can to uh, to get a competitive team on the pitch that can uh, fight for promotion. Everyone knows Rob Robert did very good well, uh, very well in championship, did very well in Premiership and in Europe champions. Uh, he has great experience and. Uh, I have to admit, he is the most intelligent coach from all I have known. I'm sure he is the right one. So just 16 weeks later, why the change of heart from the owner? Well, after Roberto Di Matteo's sacking this morning, Dr Tony Gia said it was a difficult decision for the board to make, but we'd rather make the decision sooner rather than later. We all need to learn and not repeat the mistakes again and again. Not many fans were in sight at Villa Park today, but one supporter I spoke to summed up the feelings of many Villa fans. It's just something gone drastically wrong at this club. Um, you know, and it's been that way probably for the last three, four, maybe five years, you know, it's been on a downward spiral. A 2-0 defeat away at Preston at the weekend brought Di Matteo's reign to an end, stretching their run without a win to nine games. The job vacancy is now open and yet again, Aston Villa are on the hunt for another man to lead the pack. Well, caretaker manager Steve Clark is currently taking care of matters here at the club while they search for a new manager. And that's, of course, what the fans will be wanting to know, who will be the man in charge here at Villa Park. Well, among the early front runners, uh, Steve Bruce, former Birmingham City manager, he's actually the favourite for the job at the moment. Others in the frame include former Walsall manager Dean Smith and Huddersfield's David Wagner. But I think it's fair to say that whoever takes this job is, is a huge task ahead uh, in trying to keep Villa afloat in the championship. And of course, their next match is a big one after the international break. That's here at Villa Park against local rivals Wolves. James Clark reporting there from Villa Park. Well, we'll have the rest of the championship action later. Now, though, to the Premier League, where all three of our...